fill the Albert Hall. I wish I knew. the side effects. Oh, but there's a big one we don't mention, isn't there? Where do they bury them? I'll ask you that. At least we could have made them take them. Fill the Albert Hall. Where is this? The Where fog I knew? come from. <laughs> That's the answer to everything I bet. They're the only ones around here clever enough to plan for winter, and now they're pretty much fucked. For Father Nature. Nothing like a nice quiet walk to keep you from going mad, right, Margaret? <laughs> Side effects. 
that's a big one we don't mention, isn't there? But they didn't. Do you ever wonder if those eyes in the dark are rats, or something worse? Been a while, hasn't it? Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. <laughs> but didn't you think that was funny? Crickets. Bloody crickets. Maybe they found your blueprints by now. You will take your joy immediately. Well, look at that. There's a tunnel, but it's, um... It's a bit dark. It's under the Uncle Jack fan club. They don't like you very much. Why? We have a sort of disagreement about whether Uncle Jack's a very fine, funny fellow or a rotten, murdering, collaborationist traitor. So that's why you smash all the televisions. Roger! Manners! Have you got an escape plan for after you talk to the executive committee? Why would I need an escape plan? I'm just going to tell the executive committee what's going on in the village. They're not going to shoot the messenger, are they? Then I'll just go back to my... Home in the train station. How would I escape, anyway? Oh, I know. The parade float. It'd be ridiculous, Roger. What are you talking about? The Uncle Jack fan club. They bring a giant balloon to the Battle of Flowers parade every year. It's enormous. It's supposed to be his head. Well, that could carry you away to... Well, wherever the winds take you. I suppose if I'm in the club anyway, I might as well grab the float. If nothing else, no one will have to look at Jack's head floating across the village on May Day. You will need quite a lot of helium to fill it. Fuck! Oh, I'll jump off that bridge when I get to it. Look! Empty hydrogen tanks. What am I going to do with empty ones? The label. D-S-I-R. The Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. What you know, in all quite labs. In the parade. You think we can get the deposit back? They must have full ones there. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve you, Margaret? All right, I've got a map of the tunnel into the parade. Seems like I need to get in through the Jacobean Club. God, I hate Uncle Jack.
take your joy in it. You must take your joy immediately. We all get what's coming to us in the end. Hmm, <laughs> what have we got here? Maybe you're not all bad after all. Couldn't be better, thanks. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Sorry, I had to see that.
he did it. I know he did. Ah. Oh, that really takes it out of your shoulders. Afternoon. Say, you look like a man who uh, knows his way around town. I have a client who looks to... Uh collect things. Very powerful man. He has quite a few employees, but he'd rather they not know about his, uh, private interests. Colonel Lawrence has a very special item. A taxidermid dog. My client is quite anxious to add it to his collection. Is there anything special about this dog? Oh, uh, no, no. It's just, just a peculiar stuffed dog. There, there's, there's nothing inside it or nothing. <laughs> but it's just very important that you deliver it undamaged. He's lying. I think you might be right about that. Of course I'm right about that. Well, look, come back with it and I will make it worth your while. What can I do for you today? I hope you'll consider us for your future purchases. We get... New items. in almost every day. I'm now arrived, thanks to the gods, through pathways rough and muddy, a certain sign that making roads is not this people's study. There are flies. You left the doors wide open. In case you hadn't noticed, dear Dad is starting to stink like a pork chop on some holiday. Well, obviously we can't keep him here any longer. Oh, then perhaps you two would like to arrange the burial with your half of the inheritance. I should think those costs would be shared. Regina and I don't go in for fancy rituals. The man's dead. He won't appreciate the fuss. Well, the body has got to go. Surely cremation would be cheaper. A few pounds cheaper. But we're still stuck with the, the remnants. At least an urn doesn't need its diaper changed. Suppose we just plop him out in the street after sundown. Don't the jubilators take care of these things? But what if people see us doing it? <laughs> I, a war hero and all? 
I'd hate anyone to think poorly of Ned and me. We have our reputation to keep up. The man's the only war hero we've got. Not scraps to be disposed of. If you two are so set on turning this into a celebration, go ahead. But Ed and I are not paying for your victory party. I wonder what taxidermy costs. Not cheaper than burning him, I shouldn't think. Isn't there a freezer downstairs? <gasps> you are not putting our father in there with my pies. I slaved over those. You know perfectly well how delicious they are. So I'll thank you to show a little respect. Someone ought to give that man a decent burial. Oh, Colonel. You have come a very long way from the honours of Ramsgate, have you not? You didn't deserve bands such as these. you feel better. You may have a wee headache later. Remember. Why do you think he's so anxious to get this ridiculous dog? I don't know, Ken. Do you think there's something inside of it? Anywhere but here, any time but this, it will be a king's ransom. Here it's a bloody great rock. Now, 
Should I take the low road or I take the high road? day for it. There you are. Magnificent. Won't you be pleased? Whoa, this is an ugly thing, is it not? Uh, what's in it? Uh, that is a shame. It's been opened already. My client won't be interested in this anymore. Uh, there's a bit much to expect in either the Playboys nor the Captain, but... It... Well, never mind about that. Now, while you're out, this very client has come to know about three onyx cats that the ladies in Thomasina house have. They're just like Mrs. Chippy. They refuse to sell them to him. I think they don't like him. If you could deliver them to me, I'd make it worth your while. Are you really going to rob little old ladies? In Aberdeen, they fought from the sewers. 